So after further testing of my lead them away, go in and attack, it seems to be working fantastically. <laughs> More than fantastically, like absolutely amazing. So with that in mind, I, I'm... I don't know about you, I'm tired of using heavy weapons. I don't, I don't like that UL has made it basically that heavy weapons are what you have to use. Of course that happened, of course that was there, and of course this is now here. This has, this is one of my alternatives to a heavy. The knockdown is almost max ease of use, almost max speed, durability good, and the impact. Impact is what is needed to des destroy plague hearts the best. That is what heavy weapons have. That is what is used to um, get the job done. That is the difference. One thing I think the game needs to adjust is the weight. Somehow the heavy weapons are weighing between, I've seen as low as 8 pounds to 25 pounds. A good deal of them wearing, weighing less than 10 pounds or, you know, 12 or less, I'll say. And a lot of weapons, like you can see the clear Warhammer, weigh about that weight. So... They should weigh more. It makes no sense that they weigh so little and they're heavy weapons. How is a heavy weapon not heavy? <laughs> Does that make any damn sense? No, it doesn't. That's the first problem. And that's just further proof that they're trying to force heavy weapons on us uh, as the only thing, the only thing they want you to kill Plaguearts with. Weapons... Guns, even though 50 cals work good, they make so much noise, um, zombies just swarm the area. It's like almost unusable. So I found a way to be able to use weapons again. And it is, I showed it a little bit in the, my confusing video, and I did a little more testing, and it works like a charm. It's the distracting method. Better not screw around here if I want to avoid blood You just want to simply distract them as much as possible. They cannot see through walls anymore, so it's a very good chance you can get through it. You only, as I mentioned, have to worry about dots that are flashing. Any dots that are not flashing, they don't see you, okay? So the method is anything you can do to get them to go away from the play card. And this also gets rid of the annoying, a uh, super annoying problem of zombies in the plague heart hiding in the plague heart on the floor this gets rid of that problem if you throw it close enough you know these are just firecrackers you can get stuff that's louder and it'll work much better but you'll see zombies will come out of the plague heart usually and if they don't you know the plague heart's clear So this is a weapon I want to highlight. The Evo 3. Look at the fire weight, the power, and with the accelerator. But watch what you can do here. I didn't bring enough ammo, of course. This thing is an absolute play card killer. Absolute killer. Again, 
you can see how easy it is to blend in now. I don't know why he did that. Now they're trying to go back in there because the play card's been attacked. This is when you get them out of there. I should have brought more ammo. But you can see they, they will all go out of there. There may be one or two stragglers, but this gets them out of the play card. You see how they constantly want to run back to the play card? If you get good distraction items or items that last a long time, they will go and get out. You can get them out, and then you can go in and get some business done. Like this. It's close to phasing because of how much that Evo does. That Evo does a shitload of damage. This guy's an idiot. This weapon works so good on this guy. Stamina, stamina, because I'm carrying too much shit. Are you serious? Bitch ass. This is usually a one knockdown and death to him. Anyway, that shouldn't have happened. Clear that up, not a problem. But you can see the majority of them, it's just because I'm carrying a bunch of shit. Normally I wouldn't do that if I was coming here. So again, you can see they're all now in the play cart because you just attacked it. So you just want to get them out. It's all about getting them out, not killing them because killing them <laughs> It's just gonna respawn them. It's just, it's just stupid. And if they don't go, firecracker is the only problem. They don't do that big of a thing. But you can see they're all going over there, which leaves the play cart wide open. You can get back to business. Go, immediately duck and run. Now you're gonna get one, maybe two. It's important to just get one out of the way or let the one follow you and get out of there. Find a wall, a building to run behind, it doesn't matter. Usually when you hear that music, that means they don't know what's happening and they don't know what's happening. Another good distraction is to hit one of these idiots. That makes a noise and they will run to it. So you can see here, they are yeah, all... That, screamer get close. that guy at least going, yeah, any screamer, you definitely don't want to let him join the party, but it's just, we're gonna do the same shit again. That's why firecrackers are invaluable. They're all in the play card again. We're just gonna make them go out. Simple as that. And if they're stuck over here, we throw it over here. You do one on each side. And they'll all go out. That one I kind of messed up because... Okay, that was absolute bullshit. They lunged and landed when they weren't even close to, they were already finished with the run, but it doesn't matter. Most of them are gone. As you can see, we're just gonna finish the play card here. That simple. You run out, we've got cars to duck behind down here. It's gonna be real simple. We're gonna duck run behind a couple cars, and they're not gonna know any better. 
but you can see how effective this mace is and compared to a heavy weapon um, the knockdown on this is it's almost a one hit knockdown almost always so even if you don't have to worry about that bullshit of attacking a plague heart with a slow ass heavy weapon and then worry about the damn they come because you the main problem with heavies is you get hit you see this is just super easy you get hit with um a, a back jump it, it's bound to happen you're in mid swing of hitting the play card and some asshole is gonna spawn jump you it, it's just what they do so now firecrackers I'm just using here because they're the cheapest thing but in actuality you would want to use something better but you don't have to I'm just I'm just showing you with basic shit and the Evo gun, because you would have seen how great this works. I don't have enough nine. And now they gave everybody that the uh, Ultimate Edition. Everyone gets that gun. But you see, they're all over there now. I'm going to throw another one that way. Anything to keep them away from the Plague Heart. This one is good. We're going to go up here and just beat the hell out of it with nothing in here you can see we got nothing going on they're gonna come here but we're gonna exit stage left out of the window and even though they're here it's no problem we're gonna lose them in two seconds there's a shitload of them there doesn't matter right like that then now they have no idea I have no idea. They're all more concerned with going to the plague heart than they are looking for who caused the damage, as you can see. Now, any straggler way back here like this, it's it's okay to just get them out of the way. And this is just a regular red talon, guys. This is not a special. He didn't even look at me, so that was kind of bullshit. But we can let him do that, and we can go away. Let him go that way, and we'll just go this way. You can see, as long as the, the dots are not um, yellow, we're good. And since they're going that way anyway, we're going to get the rest of them to go that way. That way, or we'll throw one over here. Don't be stingy with your firecrackers. It costs nothing to make. Make a ton of them and just do it. Look at them. They're right out of the play cart. So all of them that were in there, gone. And now we're going to get, look at this. It's completely clear. We're going to get an easy finish. No problem. Even got time to take a stamina bottle. And we're just going to beat it into submission. I think that was the second time I phased it but we can actually let them come into the house this time and then jump out the window which is what I want to do he actually hit me a little that was interesting same path we're just gonna run this way and then down and we're gone one may follow you but you know, it's not that big of a deal. The only thing you want to worry about is if that, that idiot. That's going to cause these guys to get attention. Or maybe not. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. He was looking this way. He just didn't see me. Try to go around is they, they, they're really bad at seeing when you're crouched when you're not crouched they can see the shit out of you but when you are but you can see this is what I'm talking about they camp the plague heart this is what makes 
it difficult is because they're always going in there and just sitting on it. So it, it's super annoying. So this is what you do. Just throw any kind of distraction. They're gonna run out of the house. You can, look at this. They're jumping out like lemons from the second story. They're all gonna go. I don't know why those two didn't go. That's kind of strange. But look at that whole group over there. Now you don't want to you don't want to kill the group. You absolutely do not want to do that. Because if you do do that, then they will respawn. Once it's cleared, you get back to business. Go back in the house. This works every time. 100% of the time. Super easy. You can do it with whatever weapon you want. You even get some time to search the shit. Jump the window. You'll take a little bit of health damage. Who cares? And you're gone. You're gone. Absolutely gone. Like the wind. And they're left. Look at them. They're, they're standing in midair. How are they even doing that? You see them? What the hell is that glitch? They're in midair because they all jumped at the same time. Look at that shit. Look at them. Because they're trying to follow me. But it's done. I can go back and loot that at any time. And I didn't need a damn heavy weapon to do it. I'm going to get some more ammo for the Evo just to show you how much even easier it is with a gun with rapid fire. I'm showing... Um, the Evo, because again, it's a gun that everyone has, nobody uses, nobody uses it. Um, it's available with the Ultimate Edition, but since they let everybody have it, uh, everybody has it. And I use the accelerator on it, the Clio accelerator, because the Clio accelerator adds penetration. So aside from impact on Plague Hearts, Penetration is the other trait or skill you want on a weapon. And for guns, that's basically what you get. There's power. You want power and penetration. And penetration, even though it's not a listed stat, it is. You just can't see it. And all the, the 50 cal guns have penetration. It's a hidden stat, but... But, you, you know, I didn't even get plague. Did I even have to use the plague cure? I don't think I did. Maybe I used one. This is a little messed up, but it's, it's not going to take any... Uh, the piranha is another one. This is another option. These are all good ones. This is another one, a pistol, other than the G8... 18 auto, which can be hard to find. This is a little hard to find, but it's a great, great alternate. And I'll show, um, I'll show that. All right. So you saw how effective the uh, distract and attack, I guess you could call it distract and attack, works on, uh, with just melee. But I'm going to show you, um, you can do it with, You can do it with weapons. And I'm going to show you with a weapon that nobody uses that is now free to everyone. Since they gave everybody the Ultimate Edition, you have a gun that I bet none of you use because you think it's probably useless. And that's this guy, the Evo 3. And it's anything but. And it can be an absolute um, plague heart killer. Absolute annihilator. Even on lethal, and I'm going to show you that. It only weighs seven pounds. It's quieter, but I have the accelerator on it. But you can see how many stats are maxed or very close to max. Um, the ones that matter as far as like taking shit down. And I'm going to show you even at night. We'll go to a play. We'll do this one. Show you how effective to distract and attack can be, even with a gun. The only thing that can mess you up 
and it can mess you up whether, no matter what way you do it is the, the uh, bullshit spawn system which they refuse to fix um, and that's if they you know decide to just drop a feral on your head there's, there's nothing you can do about that other than kill it that would be what could mess it up kinda but this gun is so quick at destroying a plague heart even if that happens a lot of times it won't really be too bad Always park your car and immediately run and duck. I'm going to use something else that is just a simple distraction. See all these zombies in the plague heart? They should all get out of there. They should all leave. And that's what we're trying to do. We should get, they should all get out. I like to use the whistling box mine because it's it's a long time and it makes a loud noise. And now that, that's going to give us a little bit of time to get in here. We should get one reload, two clips on it, and get out. Now, unluckily, and yeah, that happened, of course. So we're just going to run him around and that, <laughs> talk about the spawn system screwing me, like I got a feral now and this idiot. That's alright. That's alright, we're going to make this work. I'm just going to lead him away because I don't want too many zombies coming this way. We're going to finish off as many of these as we can. Or not even have to. I'm going to run them through here. Spin them. Around. And I'm going to lose them right here. And then. What I'm going to do to even further confuse them. Is put that back there. And I'm going to get right out of here. Like a boss. So they're all going to go towards that, and guess where I'm going. So we got a huge horde out of here. I am going to do the same thing over here. But I'm going to run this way. This is going to lure all of these guys out of the house. They're gonna start popping out like lemons. As they go out, we're gonna go in. If you're looking out there, come save me, please. House is clear. We should be able to kill it now. They spawned that guy on me! Oh my god, bro! They spawned that zombie on me. You've gotta be shitting me. You've got to, you've got to be shitting me. They, and here's another spawn bullshit. That's absolute bullshit. That was absolute bullshit. That, that zombie was absolutely not there. They were all gone. They were all gone. Nowhere to be found. So they had to, they didn't like that I killed the Plague Heart that quick, and they had to do some bullshit, as they do, to uh, try and ruin it for me. But, how good is the EVO 3? You tell me. What was that, four clips? Unloaded in a matter of a minute? Absolutely destroyed that Plague Heart. And, had it not been for that one stupid zombie they spawned on me, I wouldn't have even been hit. I wouldn't have even been hit. They actually did two bullshit. They spawned a, the feral on me two times. But it shoots so fast, I took them both down like they were nothing. But four clips. Four clips of 20 rounds. Not, not like some of the guns have 50 or whatever. This doesn't have a large clip. So that's what? That's 40. That's 
89 millimeter bullets. It only shoots nines. But it unloads them so fast. The gun is, is such a badass gun. It's only took uh, 30 uh, damage. But those that, you know, now that this is unlocked, you should 100% be calling it in. It's a free thing to do. You should be doing the distract and attack. You can do it with any gun you want, actually. If you follow what I what I just showed you there, uh, whistling box mines work really good, as you saw there. I'm just trying to show you cheap things to use. Firecrackers, whistling box mines, 9mm bullets. The Evo is free, so you, even though I prefer the G Audi 18 Auto Custom, you can see the stats are, are basically identical. See that? That's why it works so good. It's basically the auto custom with a smaller clip. And it weighs a couple more pounds. So if you can't find the auto custom, call in that free Evo drop as part of the Ultimate Edition. Now that they gave it to everybody. And uh, use it on lethal and you will, you will run through plague hearts like no tomorrow. All you gotta do also, the only other advice I would give, Buy a, one Clio Accelerator, which is, again, very cheap. It's like 250 Prestige. That's it. You don't need anything else. Um, if you want to use um, Melee, get the Clio Mace. Again, this is the cheapest of the Clio weapons. It's 250 but the impact is super high. And the knockdown, ease of use, and speed. You saw me kick the hell out of, of Plague Heart with this in place of a heavy weapon. So, for Melee, I'm going to be using... This, and for shooting, um, if you can't find the auto custom, or even if I, even I do, this is an excellent option. This is better than an excellent option. Is like, like I said, the stats are identical. Identical. So take advantage of that. It's just some more tricks. Um, That I want to teach you guys and the distract and attack works well even if you get hit you're you're usually not going to run into a situation where you're going to get overwhelmed the house is going to be cleared you're not going to ever worry have to worry about running into a house and trying to clear the zombies out and attack the play card or running in hitting it a couple of times and they spawn you see the amount of time I get I was able to unload two clips on the first try and get out the second time, I did unload both clips, but they, they spawn-screwed me. They spawned a, a zombie out of nowhere on my back. There's, not, there's nothing I could do about that. Had it not been for that, I wouldn't have even been touched. And there was a ton of zombies there. Like, I, I would say 30-plus. I had to deal with a couple ferals, but you're going to have to usually deal with that, even if you fight it with a heavy weapon. But this is alternative. So you want to use a gun? Use the Evo 3. If you want to use a weapon that's not a heavy weapon, use the Cleo Mace. Done deal. And then for distractions, firecrackers, which are, like, if I look at my base, let's see, what, are, what is the cost of these things? So box, whistling box mines. Five ammo, two cases. Which is, is the, on lethal, that's as cheap as it gets, you know? Everything else is going to be tons of stuff, especially C4. Like, don't don't ever make C4. You need you need munitions, you need electronics, 12 cases of chemicals, 200. Forget that. You know that that'll do the job. But what what are you going to farm all that stuff for? That's ridiculous. You don't need to do it. You can do this and get it done. And if you don't have mechanics, don't even worry about it. You could use uh, this. You could even do this. I did it with this. You can do a tube of fireworks. Plant that and run away. Same thing as a whistling box mine. So you can do that. It's even cheaper. Or if you want to be even the cheapest, firecrackers. You may have to throw a couple because they don't do the, the noise range isn't as far. But totally usable option. Totally. You can use these things. I have done this also. They're just...
they don't last long. So with the distraction, you want something that's, you know, lasts a long. This isn't a distraction device. I just use it because the whistle is a long time and then it blows up. But you can totally use this tube of fireworks, but it's not as loud as this. That's another reason why I use it. Um, but these are all, I'm trying to show you cheap options rather than, oh yeah, you can use the rocket pod or C4. Yeah, no shit. You can use C4 for everything. It's one of, it's one of the best items in the game. But can you do these kind of things with the cheaper stuff? That's the challenging thing. How to, to figure out how to use the, the crappy stuff and get the job done efficiently and easily. That's what I'm, I like to teach. That's what I'm about. Using garbage items or things that people think are garbage and, and making them shine. Like using pipe bombs uh, to, to stun a feral and, and kill it. Who else did that before me? Probably nobody. Maybe there was a couple people, but... <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So I do it with soda can bombs too. Throw them down. You just, with these kind of things that have, um, the pipe bomb has a short fuse, so it's, it's okay to throw it behind you. But a soda can bomb has a little longer, so you, those you throw in front of you and you run towards it. And, and you should just make it past it before it blows up. But the pipe bombs blow up so quickly, um, you just throw it behind you and boom, the ferrule's down. And and these are also things you don't need um, powerhouse for, which is another skill I don't like because it's another skill they forced on us uh, and it's tied to heavy weapons, you know? And stealth, I think now, is, is, is the number one trait you want for lethal. You can get out of so many situations just by simply running around a wall or whatever, and then just immediately crouching, and then placing a distraction around, and then boom, keep going. Not a lot of people do that. Anyway, take it for what it's worth. <laughs> try it or don't try it. I'm just trying to show you guys easy ways to do things with things that are available right from the start or very beginning and don't require a you know, ton of different skills or heroes to be able to take advantage of you know you want to be able to use stuff that's easy to get easy to make don't cost a lot of stuff and get and get just as good results as somebody that uses c4 or pyrolon you know what i mean or 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 whatever 50 cal stuff stuff that's not easy to get that's it